nope, I'm not just using random angles to make it all work. And here's a few examples as to why 30 degrees is significant. Not only is 30 degrees one of the fundamental foundations to the very basics of geometry, but also with how we divide up time. Here I have the seat of life that also creates the star of David that divides this circle up into 12 equal sections, kind of like the face of a clock. Hmm. This is also how they divide up the zodiac, but the angle in between each hour equals 30 degrees. Also, the northern wall of the Great Pyramid sits at 30 degrees from the equator of the planet, and if we were to draw a line around the planet at this 30 degrees, we would then find the great circle of ancient sites that wraps around the planet at a 30 degree angle from the equator. If we were to take the face of this clock and expand it so it's two meters in diameter, the length of the arc of one hour then equals an Egyptian royal cubit that when applied to a pendulum also gives us one second of time with each swing.